Good morning. Welcome from uh, my fire station gym. Back on the climber again, this time for firefighter Terrence McShane from Ladder 101 out of Red Hook, Brooklyn, Red Hook Raiders. Dedicated to his wife, Kathy, his older son, Aiden, and twins, Sean and Colin. Along with his family, left behind. This 110 floors is taking the last brother of the seven in heaven, ladder 101, Red Hook Raiders, to the top. Lieutenant Joseph Gillickson and crew are fully accounted for upon completion of this 110 floors. So, we're just about to kick it off. And finish the full accountability for the Red Hook Raiders. Ladder 101 has there with into 202, Red Hook, Brooklyn. My firefighter Terrence McShane. There we go. Starting the 110 floors with honor and respect given for our brother who left behind his wife Kathy and three sons, Aiden, Sean, and Colin. And uh, his family left behind. Dedicated to them, the FDNY off and on the line, and finishes the uh, full accountability now for Ladder 101, Brooklyn's Red Hook Raiders. For the past two Tunnels to Towers, runs the 5k there in New York City we would go by the Red Hook Raiders station because it's right there on the way towards the uh, entryway to the battery tunnel or you carry I forget what they call it now but uh, for the past two years I've looked at the memorial, and this year when I went back, I was down to one name, one brother to climb for, and that climb is happening now for firefighter Terrence McShane. This is the final climb for Ladder 101. A seven in heaven. Taking him up with honor and respect given. All the way to the 110th floor. So, who was Terrence McShane? Our brother was 37 years old. He was a husband and a father of three boys. He uh, was a lifeguard in Overlook where he ended up meeting his wife, Kathy, who worked at uh, Macy's and I guess a friend of theirs that worked at the Estee Lauder booth got him in touch with each other. One thing you don't know about quite a few of the FDNY is they were NYPD before they were FDNY. So our brother, Terrence McShane, was actually NYPD 
before moving over to the FDMY. He had over a decade with the New York Police Department where he ranked up to the sergeant. And uh, in 1999, he decided he was gonna go to the FDNY. So he made the move to the FDNY. So he went from blue to red after, it said around 12 years, where he was a sergeant on the NYPD, that he went to the FDNY. When he got on to the FDNY, he was actually a permanent in Queens on into 308. Semper Paratus, or uh, also known as It Ain't Easy Being Single. So he was on 308 in Queens, but because of a special rotation, on 9-11, 2001, he had been rotated to Ladder 101 there in Brooklyn at Red Hook Raiders. So that was the rotation he was on. But like I said before, he was actually permanent on uh, into 308, except for Paratus out of Queens. He was a rugby player, and uh, it said that after the birth of Aiden, before, Sean and Colin, they bought a modern fixer upper there in West Islip, Long Island. And uh, they were going to fix it up. New bedroom upstairs and remodel the bathroom and basically just give it a whole remodel. And uh, our brother Terrence responded on Ladder 101 off the Red Hook Raiders. And it said they were in the building when Tower 2 collapsed. This uh, climb is given with honor and respect. carrying him up to the 110th floor to finish their footsteps that have gone before us. Those who made the ultimate sacrifice on 9-11 and those who have followed did a work in the ground zero, work in the pile, the end still counting. The initial 343 commitment is going on now. Upon completion, the Ansel County will take their climbs. Each carried to the 110th floor with honor and respect given for the sacrifice that was made so that others could live. For his wife, Kathy, and sons Aiden, Sean, and Colin to know that their father's legacy and his name will carry on for years to come. He will not be forgotten. So this is 110 floors for my brother who had around 12 years and when the NYPD promoted a sergeant before joining the FDNY in 1999. He went from blue to red. As I said before, our brother was a lifeguard, played rugby, met his wife, Kathy, who Kathy uh, 
I guess from what I read, she had a business side of things from Hofstra, and she worked in an accounting firm before going back and getting her educational requirements to do secondary teaching. So, the center in 10 floors is to keep the legacy alive of Terrence McShane. Firefighter, FDNY. Letter 101, permanent assignment to Queens, into 308. Semper Paratus. Also known as it ain't easy being single. So right now, with honor and respect, another floor is being reached towards the 110th for our brother, Terrence McShane, right here. It was said that uh, his family, his wife and children were living with family members. And uh, family members started to go over to the house on West Ice Loop to fix her upper. And just an outpouring of support was given. There were firefighters and police officers and neighbors and family members and, and people who really didn't even have a trade that wanted to help out. If nothing else, they could pull the trash or clean something. But so many assisted and helped in that situation that the house was renovated. Flooring, bathrooms, all works. The family had their home. We can't forget the sacrifice that was made on 9-11-2001 so that others could live where our brothers were part of the greatest rescue effort in the United States history where upwards of 25,000 were saved because of the heroism and bravery that was shown. And those who work the pile on ground zero for hours, days, weeks, months, all the way till it was brought to completion. This 110 is for them. Dedicated to his wife, Kathy. His sons, Aiden, Sean and Colin, his family members left behind to the FDNY at Red Hook into 202 Ladder 101 Red Hook Raiders in Brooklyn and to his permanent station, Queens into 308, Semper Paratus. Your brother will not be forgotten. His legacy will continue forward for years and years to go. Taking him up for the Red Hook Raiders. Ladder 101, the seven in heaven. This is now the seventh of the seven in heaven with Lieutenant Joseph Gullickson ending with Firefighter Terrence McShane this is completion this is full accountability upon this climb the Red Hook Raiders so this coming Tunnel to Towers in September I can go let them know that they have reached 
accountability. All of their brothers have been carried to the top. Finally there for the Red Hook Raiders. Each one of the brothers of the 343, each unit will be accounted for as the climbs continue. This 110 is for Firefighter Terrence Machine. But right now, we're just about to the halfway point in this climb. Pushing them up with honor and respect. Coming up on the fifth vertical of seven. And now, over the halfway mark in this 110 floors for firefighter turns for chains. Going vertical for our brother's family. Kathy, his wife, and sons, Aiden, Sean, and Colin, the twins, who at the time were seven and four years old. We will never forget our brothers and the sacrifice that was made so that others could live. This is the 343 commitment and still counting. 110 floor memorial climb carrying the seven in heaven to the top. Finishing accountability for the Red Hook Raiders. Ladder 101 into 202 there in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Pushing them up. Until we reach the top. Going vertical. With honor and respect given for that sacrifice that was made so that others could live. For our brother, who was not only FDNY, he was on the NYPD, went from blue to red after working in NYPD for around 12 years. Got ranked up to the sergeant and then made the move to the FDNY, where appointed, he worked at uh, into 308 there in Queens. It was his permanent assignment. Semper Paratus. Also known as it ain't easy being single. So down to the last two verticals now. On this 110 floors for firefighter Terrence McShane. Dedicated to his wife, Kathy, to his sons, Aiden, Sean, and Colin, to I believe his brother's names were John and Kieran, and to the rest of the family left behind that I can't remember names of. As I said before, he was on a rotation with the FDNY, working on uh, Ladder 101, there with Engine 202 in the Red Hook section of Brooklyn, the Red Hook Raiders. And I've had the honor of going to that station several years in a row now. Pay my respects to the honorable and getting one step closer each time 
to full accountability for that station. Today is that full accountability. Seven brothers, seven climbs. Red Hook Raiders will be fully accounted for at the completion. Took a while to get there, but as promised to the brothers there and sisters there, full accountability right around the corner. Second to last vertical on this 110 floors for firefighter Terrence McShane. Permanent on engine 308 out of Queens, separate apparatus. So his rotation at uh, ladder 101, Red Hook section of Brooklyn. Red Hook Raiders, engine 202 along with it at the house. Taking him up for his love of rugby, his love of his family, for his love of the job. Like I said, he wore both stripes, both the blue and the red. 12 years on the NYPD, where he was a sergeant, to two years with the FDNY. Pushing him up with honor, respect given for the sacrifice that was made so that others could live. A member of uh, several rugby teams. Cool down a little bit again in the mask because it is very compensated. Because it's hot in the gym. Live from Southern Park, New Mexico. On the stir climber again. As you know, this is a 343 commitment and still counting 110 floor memorial climb. For firefighter Terrence McShane, ladder 101, Red Hook Raiders. In the Red Hook section of Brooklyn, housed with engine 202. And now we have one vertical left and a few floors. And uh, seven in heaven have made the trip all together. Going up with honor and respect. Heading vertical to finish their footsteps. Like I said before, they were headed there, got to work, and were caught in the collapse of the second tower, from what it said. As I said before, our brother actually met Kathy's wife when uh, Terrence was a lifeguard in Overlook Beach. And uh, she worked at, uh, I guess, a makeup counter at Macy's, where a friend worked at the SJ Lauder counter. We know all the lifeguards there at Overlook to which Terrence was one of the lifeguards and she put them together and uh, they pretty much hit it off, got married, had their son Aiden and the twins, Sean and Colin. Right now, this last vertical gets us to about the 100 and first floor upon completion 
only a few forward laps and another climb was in fruition. Completed, accountable, at the top. This 110 belongs to firefighter Terrence McShane. Our brother was a NYPD for about 12 years before switching to the FDMLI where he worked permanent at uh, Engine 308 in Queens, some preparatus, but was on rotation to ladder 101, Red Hook Raiders out of Red Hook, Brooklyn. For his wife, Kathy, his sons, Aiden, Sean, and Colin, his brothers that I think I remember are John and Kieran, and uh, family left behind. This climb is dedicated to you all, to the FDMI on the line, to the NYPD, and to our country. So he has never forgotten, always remembered. This is why the 343 commitment and still counting exists. To leave an electronic record of our brother's histories. And now, we are at the home stretch. For our brother, Terrence McShane. Seven in heaven, almost to the top. Full accountability for Brooklyn's Red Hook Raiders. Ladder 101 into Teal 2. Pushing them to the top of the tower. As I said before, this is coming to you live from the state of New Mexico, Southern Park Fire Department, station number two, Jim, where it's the home of the 343 commitment and still counting. This memorial climb is given an honor and respect for the sacrifices made on and after 9-11, 2001 and through the work on the pile. Right now, my brother is just floor shy of reaching that top as the seventh brother of the seven in heaven. For the house on West Ice Look, that was renovated on the family's behalf to the firefighters and police officers and tradesmen and women and just the ordinary citizen and neighbor who wanted to help. We thank you. To take care of the family like that, we thank you. This is almost complete. For our brother, Terrence McShane, we are now on the very home stretch of this 110 floors. Pushing our brother who was in YPD before joining FDNY, a rugby player, a husband and a father, a brother, a son. So much to so many. And here we are. One hundred and ten floors. Our brother right here, Terrence McShane. 
to your family, to your service. Rest in peace. We have it from here.